Hello friends, welcome back to my new repaint video. In today's video, I'm so much inspired by Mad Hatter from Alice in the Wonderland. And for this repaint, I'm choosing this Frankie Stein doll and changing her into a complete new goal, which is the most challenging part. So let's get start this video. So first of all, I'm taking my acrylic yarn and unravel so much of the acrylic yarn and now i'm starting my rerouting process and i'm just plugging one by one and one by one and where my and rerouting and rerouting process it takes so much time and i think that it's the most time consuming part in doll customization and, but i think that i prefer rerouting much than using gluey hairs and use hot glue for the hair but i think tacky glue work well so now i'm doing the same thing with the upper part of the doll head and starting rerouting very thickly thickly because mad hatter is such very poofy and curly hair so i want to maintain that look and my doll and i want to represent the puffy look type of hair so i'm rerouting very strictly very strictly now i'm taking my tacky glue and my old brush and starting filling the doll head from the inside and i'm also using super glue for the head too so it can be closed and now it's the most challenging part because uh, acetone work well but this time i don't have acetone so i'm removing the doll factory paint with my nail polish remover and i don't think that it work very well and it also did some stain in the doll face but i think that later on i will use msc and give it two three coats of blushing with some dark pinks so it will not see off so now when the hair is completely finished and it takes so long time then it's time for sanding and so i'm just taking my sandpaper and starting sanding the frankenstein stages it, i think that it's the most satisfying part for me but you must have to wear a mask because the sandpaper and sanding is not good for your health so you must wear a mask when you are sanding the doll type of things or sanding anything i think that nail buffers also work very well but i at this time i don't have a perfect nail buffer so i'm just using this sandpaper and i think that it work very well and please friends don't use acetone in your doll bodies because i think that acetone melt the doll body very badly one time when i don't know about it so i use acetone in my doll body and it ruined my doll body it will melt uh, and also chipping so much so i don't like the result and it also give me so much shine in the doll body and I am very strictly using MSC. I am don't using MSC in the doll bodies for blushing. So it uh, the shiny top is not good for my doll bodies. So I don't like it. And now it's the time for the fun parts, the face up. So I give it three coats of MSC, and now I'm starting blushing the doll face with some dark color of soft pastels like shocking pink and red and oranges and i'm just filling the doll lips and also give it so much blushing because i think that mad hatter wears so much makeup and the doll and the movie version and i think that the cartoon version mad hatter doesn't have any type of makeup look so i love the movie look of mad hatter because i love the vibrant colors and all the color schemes of the uh, mad hatter look like very random accessories so i want to maintain that look and now it's time for the eyes so now i'm starting sketching the eyes i don't want it to make the eyes very big i'm just 
maintaining the Mad Hatter original look and it and I'm giving it so much greeny eyes which I think that green and blue eyes are my favorite because my own eyes are in green color so I'm giving her some green eyebrows and working a little bit on the doll lips I think that the bold colors are my favorite and doll faces but I also wanted to maintain so much cuteness in my dolls because I don't like so much harsh things and I don't like such very bold type of boldness like very evil look I also like evil looks much but I don't like adding so much blacks and browns in my doll faces so I want to make my dolls very colorful and natural like delightful I love delightful and moonlight jewels so much they are such an inspiration for me to start my doll customization delightful was the first person which I starting my YouTube channel and also starting my hobby and I think she is such an inspiration for me and my life and I think that doll customization is very fun because you can create many characters that you like in your life and you can create whenever you want you can create celebrities you can create any person that you like and you can make a portrait of it so now I'm also filling the whites of the doll eyes and I'm also giving her some highlights to make a good surface for my blushing and now I give it another coat of MSC and now I'm starting filling the doll eyes with green color of acrylic paint. I think that in this doll I use MSC the most and my other repaints i just use three or four or two coats of msc and my this project i did i think 10 coats of msc with my acrylic paints and i think that this is my favorite face so far so i'm now highlighting and highlighting because i love highlighting and doll faces so much so now I'm also adding some color to the irises. I'm also adding some light green and yellows to the irises to maintain the mad hatter catty eyes look. I love the mad hatter eyes so much because the green color is so vibrant and I love it. And if you like guys my Alice in the Wonderland doll so if you like other dolls from Alice in the Wonderland team so please give a comment below so I will definitely work on it now I also add black to the irises and now I'm just a little bit working on my doll lips I think that the this face up take me so much long time to complete I think it take me three days fully to complete this face up because I did a lot of things in my this doll and also so much confused about this doll outfit. I make the doll outfit so much random because I don't have the perfect fabrics for my doll outfit and I search my stock box and also my grandmom's stock box and when I found some fabrics which are little bit uh, match to the do Mad Hatter outfit so I choose that type of fabrics because I think that this doll is some girly version so I don't want it to fully replica the Mad Hatter original look so now I'm adding so much blushing this is the most blushing I did in my dolls so I'm adding so much pinks, 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 pinks blushing to the doll eyes and lips and cheeks. And I think that it's my favorite, favorite part. And I think that I did so much blushing in this doll face and also give it more coats of MSC. And now I'm also giving it other coat of MSC to save my blushing progress. And I also think that the stain from the doll face is gone with the blushing and it's a good sign for me. 
now i'm adding so much more blushing and blushing 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 now i'm adding some light color to the irises which is my favorite part to maintain so much gradients and the dull eyes and i'm also giving her some cute teeth which is my first time to give teeth to the doll lips adding more blushing for the contouring i'm also using this shocking pink color because in mad hatter i also see that he has contouring with this dark pink hot pink color of pink so i also maintain that look in the doll and now it's time for the most challenging part the eyelashes and it's the most challenging part to draw eyelashes and doll so i'm using my teeny tiny brush and starting make making some white eyelashes to the doll and i actually give it three coats of eyelashes color to make the color very really opaque with because the surface of the eyelashes is some hot pink color so it will not see off very nicely so i will give it three coats of acrylic paint to make the eyelashes very really opaque and vibrant and now i'm also working on the doll lips and also adding some color to the doll nostrils and also adding some more highlighting now i'm starting blushing the doll eyebrows with my watered down soft pastels and a brush I'm making the doll eyebrows very arched. I'm not making the doll eyebrows very poofy like the flock type of type of texture or a hairy type of texture. I'm just taking it simple because this is actually a girly version of Mad Hatter, so I don't want it to look at very poofy eyebrows and i don't like the poofy eyebrows look and a girly version of uh, mad hatter so i wanted to maintain it very very sassy girl and i don't like the uh, poofy eyebrows look in my doll so i'm also highlighting the bra bone this is actually my favorite part the highlighting is very very imported in doll faces and now i'm adding some teeny tiny uh, hair to the doll eyebrows and also make some gradient in the doll eyebrows i give some dark brown to the tip of the eyebrows and for make so many teeny tiny hair and the doll eyebrows i think that this is my so much beautiful and uh, so much correct shape of eyebrows so far and at last i also give it some eye shines and also add some teeth to the doll mouth for the eyebrows i am so much inspired by oscar magic dolls and he is so much inspiring me he is so much an amazing artist and also he did a very great job and all of its dolls so please check out his instagram page so you will follow it and never miss any update from his channel and i also add a cute smile and a cute little blushing with to the doll lips so it will look that the mad editor is smiling and now i add some gradient to the doll eyebrows and add a little bit work on the eyebrows and the eyes and the doll face up is done 
and now it's time for the doll accessory so now i'm starting making the doll hat so for this i'm just taking this reddish and goldenish type of um, type of foam because i don't have the right material so i'm just using it and i think that it's the sticker version of the craft foam so so it will stick very well to the fabric and i think that it's the very good thing for making doll hats and now i cut two circles one with a larger circle and one a smaller circle and when my basic shapes are done now i'm just sticking it to the fabric and now i'm just cutting it i'm not cutting it very nearly i'm just cutting a little bit far from the actual foam because i'm later on gluing it to the other side and now i'm taking my tacky glue and starting gluing the fabric to the foam and i think that it's my first time to make a doll hat so it's a good opportunity for me to learn that how to make doll hats and it's very confusing for me and it takes so much long time to think that how can i make the doll hat but i think that the result came out quite nice then i think and when the gluing is done then i take it for 24 hours and just glue it with each other and now it's time to make the bow so i'm just taking this pink fabric and starting making the doll bow and for the outfit i make this outfit off screen and i don't have a footage for this so uh, so if you like my this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to see more doll repaints and if you have any or specific suggestions then please give a comment below bye